Hi, and welcome to News Now. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Today with us, we have Ellen O'Brien Cushman. She's our town clerk, and she's going to tell us more about the upcoming primary election. Welcome, Ellen. Hi, Maribel. How are you? Thanks for having me. Thank you. So please tell us, what is a primary election? A primary election is an opportunity for the two Massachusetts political parties, the Democratic and the Republican, to nominate their candidates who will be on the final general election. The ballot will be November 8th. And who can vote? Everyone gets to vote in the primary. Massachusetts is an open, pretty open primary state. There are basically um, kind of two rules. One, if you are a member registered voter of the Republican or the Democratic Party, you may only vote in your party's primary. So you only may take that ballot. For all of the other people who are unenrolled or members of, dem of designated uh, political designations or um, just people who are completely unaffiliated, those people get to go to the polls and choose which one of the two ballots, the Democratic or the Republican, that they want to vote on that day. And that only happens at the primary. It does not change the person's uh, voting affiliation. It does not make you a member of the party just because you're voting in their primary because we are an open primary state. All right. And you still have a chance to register. You do. Uh, so today, when we're doing this interview, it's actually Thursday, and uh, the final designation or the final uh, deadline for voter registration for qualifying for September 6th is August 27th. If, however, you miss that date, you still have plenty of time to register to vote for the November. So if it's on your mind and you just aren't going to get it done for the 27th and you still want to vote in November, send it on. And there are three kind of ways to vote. Can you tell us a little bit about it? That's right. So there are the traditional way, which is the person who goes to the polls on election day. And the polls are open at each of our eight voting precincts from seven in the morning until eight at night. There are also in-person opportunities to vote early, uh, which was established several years ago in Massachusetts, and all of Belmont's early voting takes place at Town Hall. So that begins on Saturday. We're going to open that up, and we'll be open Saturday and then Monday through Friday, and Friday will be the last day, which is September 2nd. So it starts on uh, August 27th, which is Saturday. The third way for someone to uh, vote is to do either an absentee or really a vote by mail. Uh, they, every person who is a registered voter of Massachusetts over the summer, in July, was mailed and a postcard for uh, to ask them if they want to participate in vote by mail and that had uh, come in with the votes act which was just passed uh, over the summer so if you had not already requested a, a absentee ballot because you're a college student for example or a person who's uh, in another state or just traveling for a long time then the state had to send you a postcard and ask you. And we've already mailed out 3,700, I think it is, is the last count. Uh, so people have gotten the message, they've gotten their postcards and they're turning them in. If, may I, if I can put a little statement in that says, if you are a person who believes that you have filed one of those requests, either a postcard, a letter, an application, then uh, you have not received a ballot. Now is the time to certainly follow up and call us and say, why haven't I received my ballot? It's possible that we misread your address that you're trying to have us send it to. It's possible that for the primary, you are an unenrolled voter and you didn't tell us which one of those two ballots you want. And if you have not chosen a party ballot, you won't get one. All right, so no excuse for not voting. And how do you think it's going to be the turnout? Ooh, I never make guesses about that, to tell you the truth. Uh, I do think that um, that there are a lot of races this time that might be getting people's interest. Certainly, they'll get their interest for November. The question is whether the candidates themselves will drive people to the polls uh, to decide to vote for a particular candidate or um, you know, vote against a particular candidate because they really want their particular person to make it to the final ballot. So the offices that we're going to be voting for, uh, this is the first time in a number of years now that we've been voting for governor because the governor has decided he is not running again. So it's all the state offices and Belmont's kind of representative. So it's for governor, lieutenant governor, of course, um, attorney general, secretary of state, 
treasurer, auditor, representative in Congress, which is uh, for Belmont. This is when we start to get not statewide offices. A counselor in the third district, which is a governor's council, a senator in general court, representative in general court, district attorney and sheriff. The last group are Belmont specific or our region specific. Wow, a very important vote. Anything else you would like to add? I would, uh, if you don't mind. Uh, I have a little form. I'm not sure if it's going to show up on paper. There it is. Every Belmont voter received, oops, it's kind of fuzzy there where I'm sitting, but it's a, in their light bills. Um, we mailed these during August to every Belmont residence. And it gives all the information that I've just described, gives all of the deadlines. Um, the deadline to apply for a mail-in ballot is fast approaching. It is coming up on Monday, the 29th of August. And uh, all of our hours and everything are on the town's website. If you don't mind, I'd like to mention it. It's www.belmont-ma.gov, like government. Uh, you can also send us an email. As I said, if you're having some questions, you can call us 617-993-2603, or you can send us an email to voting at belmont-ma.gov. And don't forget to sign your form. <laughs> That's right. Is there any particular uh, procedures that you need to do if you mail in? Uh, yes. Uh, so a mail-in ballot is, is accompanied by an envelope, obviously, and there's an envelope in there for the voter to sign, which has an affidavit on it that says that it is the voter who's actually completing the ballot and sending it back. If that envelope is not included and the envelope is not signed, then we will not be able to accept that ballot because we can't attribute it to the voter. So signing uh, and reading the instructions are very important. And since 2020, when COVID first started, we um, installed a drop box right outside of town hall, which has turned into a tremendous convenience. That's how a lot of people are communicating with us. So you can drop your ballot in your envelope and then take it to town hall after you go to dinner or you're at the playground. It doesn't matter about our office hours. You can drop them in 24 hours a day and it's a secure drop box. We pick it up uh, multiple times every day. Is this the election the community is going to vote on the debt exclusion? Great question, Maribel. No, this is not that election. That election for the two debt exclusion questions will be November 8th. There are no questions on the September ballot. If you have any questions, you will have more information in the bottom of the screen. And don't hesitate to contact the town clerk office, and they will be happy to help you. Thank you, Ellen, for being here. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. And get out and vote, everyone. Yes, don't forget to vote. <laughs> Thank you all. That's it for today. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. See you next time. If you like biking and care about social justice and the environment, Bikes Not Bombs 35th Annual Bikeathon is the event for you. On Sunday, September 11th, riders will depart from Stony Brook Field to make a plane and ride on 10, 30, 50, or 100 mile routes. There will be rest stops, food, and route markings along the way. A fantastic lunch and live music will be provided after the ride. You are helping Bikes Not Bombs use the bicycle as a vehicle for social change in Boston and throughout the Global South. For more information and to register as a rider or volunteer, go to bikesnotbombs.org.